So at the end of Andy's life, though, or after this incident, he was super paranoid. And he was, like, convinced. Mm-hmm. He lived for, like, another. He lived until 1988. Yeah. So he was convinced that she was going to kill him. Mm-hmm. And he was apparently, like, he became, like, pretty withdrawn after that. And, yeah, like, his boyfriend said that he, like, they had trouble being intimate after that. I guess getting shot will probably hurt yeah. a lot. Yeah, <laughs> and also let's think you scared. Like, I guess I would be scared. Yeah, you let people into your like art space all the time. Yeah, and then the one time. But I mean, I feel like it's honestly like mm. it's like karma a little bit. Yeah, for, like a how little. shitty he was to other people, and he was shitty to her at first too. Like yeah. he was, he treated her like, oh that's nice, right? Like, yeah, like maybe don't underestimate people. Mm-hmm. Now I sound like a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm hearing all this, and I'm like, oh, no. Like, if so, if somebody I know gets shot, they're going to come back to me. Well, she, you know, that might happen. That might happen. <laughs> but, and, and it's, like, it's also not surprising that she did that, because, like, in her manifesto, she's all about, she, it is violent. Like, she's mm-hmm. all about so civil disobedience, she said, is useless. Mm-hmm. And she had this quote about um, her, her, cohort of, of women that she would call scum if scum ever marches it will be over the president's stupid sickening face if scum ever strikes it will be in the dark with a six inch blade so she really <laughs> she, yeah she was like visceral she's like that's so stupid yeah i used to subscribe to a lot of that type of thinking um like when i was younger and in high school and stuff. yeah um and i was because you know how like teenagers are slightly more sociopathic than like yeah because like it's a mix of like not having enough life experience mm-hmm. uh to like really feel empathetic towards people right. and then also um like being the target age range for things you True. like i feel like when you're a teenager you really do think you are the center of the world because mm-hmm. like all the things in media are just like targeted at yeah. you yeah and so like in that moment in the in that period of your life when you're like not worried about responsibility like real responsibilities and uh you also just like don't have enough life experience to like really connect with people and then also you think you're the center of the world yeah you, I feel like you have weird ideas that seem slightly sociopathic and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, right. That I feel like it's it's that, and like you have no concept of what life is actually like. You know, right. like like forever didn't mean anything to me when I was sixteen. Oh, absolutely. Not. <laughs> yeah, even like the idea of graduating college when I went into college seems like oh that's gonna be in like twenty years, and I don't even know what anything means. Yeah. Um, also, like four years now goes by like that, but mm-hmm. four years of high school felt. Still, today, when I look back on it, it felt like the longest. Yeah, it was eternity. And every day was so full of drama, I felt like. Oh, my God. (laughs) Like, within those eight hours of school, like, so many things could happen. Anything could happen. It was like an episode of the real world every day. (laughs) (laughs) People are stop being nice. Stop being being nice and start Start, being real. Start being real. That's um, a, that was my motto every day. <laughs> I came to high school and I just said, I don't want, I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to make friends. Then I pretend there's like a camera over my shoulder that I give like those talking heads. In when I was too. a child, oh, no. like a little kid, I would, like, my whole like daydream was that I was like on my own TV show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, and I was just like, cameras are following me. Like, <laughs> It was basically the Truman Show, but, like, yeah. I had never seen the Truman Show, and this was just how my brain was. was, was like, that was I'm gonna, like, everybody's watching me. I'm the best. That is, there's a thing that, especially, like, teenagers do. Oh, shoot. It's, it's a behavioral psychology term. But they, they do this thing. It's, like, a performance of their behavior mm-hmm. where if they think that other people are watching them they will, like, become bigger Mm. because, you know... My father's a psychologist, and he would accuse me of that all the time. Really? (laughs) Like, we'd be on the phone, and I'd be, I'd, like, overreact to something, and he'd be like, who's around you right now? Who are you Uh, trying to impress? Why are you doing this? And I was like, no, Dad, I'm alone. And he'd be like, no, you're not. What are you doing? <laughs> what was this performance? Yeah, for? like what? Like why are you trying to do this? Wow, it is like a slow clap over the oh. phone, like a dick. Yeah, my dad, what an asshole! I love him so <laughs> much. 